Okay, so my boy Justin just hit me up with a new psychological thriller called Screwdriver. This is written and directed by Cairo Smith in his feature-length debut. The film is produced by Cairo Smith, Michel Shindu, and Rand Vossler. It's executive produced by Serge Wilson, Luke Taylor, uh, Christopher Corey Smith, Craig and Corinne Howlitz, Matthew Helderman. It's associate produced by Miranda Sarah Enney and Claire Elise Williams. Sean Renner handles the music, Justin Kundel, cinematography, Wei Yang Li edits the piece, Miranda Sarah Eni handled the casting, Aria Wizjishk was on costume design, hair and makeup we have Josin Vasquez, Olga Tarnovadeska, and Michel Shundu. And our cast. Well, Emily is played by Anna Claire Hicks. Robert is played by Charlie Farrell. We've got his wife, Melissa, played by Millie Sanders. And Sean is played by Matt Monroe. Uh, the gist of the film is blindsided by divorce. 33-year-old Emily leaves her adopted Nebraska behind, returning to California with nothing but a suitcase in hand. She seeks refuge in the home of an old high school friend and his pharmacologic, pharma, pharmacologist wife. The childless couple welcome Emily into their lives, but their hospitality soon gives way to a surreal plot of cult-like manipulation and betrayal. As days bleed together, Emily falls into a delirious tailspin, forcing her to question her faith, her sanity, and the intentions of her generous hosts. So... Yeah, it is, it's, 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 it's very twisted and creepy, right? We, we first meet up and Emily's sitting on the sofa and she's talking to, uh, you know, talking to her buddy, old Robert, right? And you're wondering, you're wondering why? Like, you know, what's brought her there exactly, you know? Like, a load of things have been going on. Like, we know, we find out she's been divorced and everything. But th there's not really a clear, I don't think there was, it didn't seem like there was a clear reason why she was there. But, you know, she's going to be helping Robert with some work, right? And, uh, yeah, it's all a bit, I don't know, Melissa's happy she's there, but we get, then get these looks like there's something else going on, right? There's something else going on. Now, as in the synopsis, it says they don't have children, right? There, there's been reasons for that. So I think there is a point in the film where you suspect the reason um, Emily is there, right? You you think, okay, right, I think this is where it's going. But there is nothing that kind of indicates that fully, right? By the end of it, I feel the picture is clear right, you know what the intentions are and everything like that, but, the, you know, I mean, during the film, during this process, the journey we are on as viewers, 
there's just this whole heap of manipulation and twistedness that is crazy. You know, I think that um, we get a, a very believable performance of like delirium from Anna Claire Hicks. And, you know, Charlie Farrell and Millie Sanders kind of do a, 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 a nice job of showing this manipulation, right? So we get that. So that works, but it's just the rationale behind it that you're a little bit lost at. And the relationship between... Robert and Melissa, at times it does feel a bit weird, right? It does feel a bit weird. And there is the indication that there is something else happening, but that doesn't really become clear, right? There's, there feels like there's manipulation within manipulation, but you're just like, okay, why? What? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. And that's not really resolved. But the, um, yeah, the main thing, it, you know, by, as I said, by the end of this, right, it, it's around 90 minutes, you know. Um, so by the end, you go, okay, that's what this whole thing was about. But then the question is, why not just, a conversation, you know, like why was not just the question asked, right? That I think that's the the big thing that was with me as this as the credit rolled. It was just like, okay, this isn't an out of the box thing, right? We we see people in this situation all the time. And a load of people volunteer, you know, they volunteer to it. They, you know, for certain things, you know, like money or, you know, I mean, there's just different reasons why people will do this thing, but it happens. So it's just like, okay, why then this? You know, you feel that we need something to show that all of these other things were tried and it wasn't going anywhere. So this was the, you know, there's only one way we can get what we want. And it's this, right? I think that would have made it a bit more feasible, viable, you know, that you could actually go, okay, right. This makes sense. Because at the moment, right, like, as I said, the actual effect, of the manipulation and all of that, yeah, that's all done very well, you know, it's believable, because it's clear she's looking a state, and the fact that Robert and Melissa aren't going, are you okay, you know what I mean, shows, you know what I mean, you understand, yeah, there's something crazy happening, but it's just, why, why go this route, right, that's the big thing here, now, you know, showing the situation, all of that kind of stuff, Smith does a good job. So we definitely can see some promise here. But yeah, there's just, I feel in the writing, there's areas that could do with a little clarity, you know, or, you know, it, it, because it's not a case that you always have to let the viewer know every single thing. But I feel you need to show a, a reason for, right? a valid reason for this situation. Otherwise, it just feels like a random situation. So I think moving forward, yeah, those things, you know, if those things are worked on, I think Smith can, you know, yeah, do some good things, you know. But it is, yeah, we'll have to see what happens, right? But Screwdriver will be available on all your favorite VODs from Friday the 10th of November. So, yes, people, 
if this kind of thing catches your, uh, you know, and I, and I think if you liked um, Alone at Night, right, we covered that, oh, in episode 272, I believe, right? So if, if you like that, then I think Screwdriver will work for you, you know? But yeah, it's out on the 10th on all your favorite VODs. Enjoy.